Hey everyone, I am Vikram Salvinke and welcome to the x86 assembly. This is a video number 29 and part 4 of a local variables and arguments passing. In this video, we will see the same C program but in an animation format. So let's get started. First, let's look at a C program. This is a C program. We are including stdio.h file. After that, we are going to main. Main is defining integer a, value is 1. After that, second variable, integer b, value 2. Then main is calling function and passing two arguments 1 and 2. We are in function for function is accepting two parameters arg1 and arg2. Then function is saving arg1 in, into the variable x and saving arg2 in, into the variable y. After that function is declaring new variable integer of r1 equals 3. Variable 2 var2 equals 4. Then function is returning the value of a var2 to the main. Function is ending here. We are back in main. Main will save the value written by function into the new variable integer value. And then main will return with the ones. And main will end here. Let's look at our assembly code. This is our C program means equivalent assembly code. This is assembly code for a function. And this is assembly code for main. Let's look at our program's flowchart. Main. It's calling function and then function is returning to main. Let's start the execution from main. This is our assembly code and this is our stack. Currently ESP is pointing at the 0012FF6C and that has a value 00401328. That is a return address of a function who called main. We have start the execution from main and our EIP is pointing at the instruction push EBP. EBP is currently at the 0012 FFB8. As we all know, EBP contains the value of a stack frame pointer and 0012 FFB8 is a value of a stack frame pointer who called main. And now we are executing from main. So we have to set the main stack frame onto the stack. First instruction is push EBP. EBP is at 0012 FFB8. And as we all know, EBP contains the stack frame pointer of a function. Currently, it contains the stack frame pointer of a function who called main. And now we want to set up a main stack frame onto the stack. First, we will save this EBP onto the stack. Let's push that onto the stack. Okay, EBP got pushed onto the stack. Next instruction is move ESP into the EBP. Currently, ESP is pointing at the 0012 FF68. And as we all know, EBP contains the value of a stack frame pointer. We are executing from main. And from this point, it will be all main stack frame. Let's execute that. Now, EBP is pointing at the 0012 FF68. That means from 0012 FF68, it will be all main stack frame. And on the stack frame, main will have its local variables, its registers and arguments that needs to pass to the another function. Next instruction is subtract 0c from the ESP. 0c is decimal value is 12. As we saw in a C program, main is defining three variables, integer a, integer b and integer value. And for that, it needs a space into the memory. And by subtracting 12 bytes from the ESP, the space will be made to save three variables onto the stack. ESP is 0012FF6C, subtracting 0C, 0012FF60, let's execute that. As we can see, we have given a storage to save three variables into the memory. Next is statement is integer A equals 1. For that, 1 will get moved into the address pointed by a pointer A. Okay, now 1 got moved into the address pointed by a pointer A. Next C statement is integer B equals 2. For that, 2 will get moved into the address pointed by a pointer B. Address pointed by a pointer B is 0, 0, 1, 2, FF, 5, C and 2 will get moved there. It got done. Next is statement is 
main is calling function and passing two arguments a and b as we saw in a c decal video the arguments will get pushed onto the stack from right to left so b will get pushed first after that a will get pushed for that first value pointed by a pointer b will get moved into the ax now ax contains value pointed by a pointer b next to pass argument b b will get pushed onto the stack and that value is currently now into the ax let's execute that okay ex got pushed onto the stack next is a value pointed by a pointer a will get moved into the ecx value pointed by a pointer a is 1 let's execute that okay value pointed by a pointer a got moved into the ecx next argument a will get passed to the function and that value is currently now into the ecx let push that onto the stack okay that value got push now main is calling function at 401000 to call on the function next instruction address that is 00401051 will get push onto the stack so function can return to main using that return address let's do that it got push and now the control will pass to the function okay main called function at address 401000 and now eip will move there and we will start execution from function from address 00401000 now we are in function that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll see the remaining part of this program in an animation format. So stay tuned. Thank you.